are you? My name is Anna, and my final project is Henry. Okay, project description and goals. Well, basically, we have this uh, software, Henry, and uh, it's written in C++, and uh, I, uh, my job, at least my project, uh, was to create a Django application um, for a baseball simulator software, Henry. And, uh, and uh, basically, I was trying to do, I was trying to build a website for Henry, for already existing software, Henry. And also to integrate Henry Django project into Henry software and the SQLi database. Um, and it came with some difficulties. And, um, and this is what I'm going to present to you guys, the thing that we had to deal with and how we overcame them. Okay. So yeah, like I said, uh, Henry is written in C++. Uh, however, it needs to be integrated into the project uh, the Django, which is in Python. It's like two different languages. I guess a good way of thinking about that is that uh, we have to translate Spanish into uh, Portuguese. No, it's so close. Spanish into Chinese. And also we have to connect, they also we have to make it work, <laughs> basically, to connect those languages. All right. Introducing Henry. Henry Chadwick, the father of baseball. Uh, he was uh, one of the first original people who actually used statistics um, to figure out um, different batting averages, books, whatever stuff that we have right now. With baseball, all the statistics and stuff, he was one of the first people to use it, or he claims to be. Henry the Software, um, it basically simulates baseball seasons, postseasons, series, and games. Um, you know, it goes all, all the way back to 2000, uh, as well as incorporates all important aspects of the game, and also has the interface with uh, over 100 uh, functions. Well, since, since this is the FinTech class, and you know, finance and technology, so I guess the best way to incorporate them both is to what I tried to do is I tried to um, apply the portfolio theory to um, to baseball, and you know I guess the good way of looking at it is the baseball team is a portfolio of assets, players I guess, and uh, just like financial assets, you know every player has uh, their value, their expected return, volatility. Um, you have to find out whether a player is a good investment. And also, yeah, I guess a good way of looking at that is that uh, each team is long, one portfolio, and short, another. And by another, meaning the opposing team. And basically, and of course, the goal, just like in finance, or any financial institutions, any investments, is to, um, anybody? Generate? Profit. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's my Henry. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, but in a... In, uh, in, uh, Baseball, the uh, you know the positive outcome is to win games. Well, the technologies that I used, uh, like I said, it was slightly difficult to kind of translate that into different languages. I had to use the uh, third-party software called the Xerox uh, Zero CI, which is the Internet Communication Engine, uh, to handle the networking and uh, to basically find a bridge between the Python and C++, which is like the two different languages, Chinese and Spanish. And uh, the ICE provided a platform, and uh, it has to, we have to find a way to connect uh, Henry, the software, which is basically being, uh, it's being stored, all the information of Henry is being stored on this Amazon cloud. And uh, Amazon cloud is this, this infinite space uh, for storage. You know, you could save photos there, you could so save, you know, store all sorts of information there. But what we do is that it's a very big, complicated software and has different functions and not to slow down your computer because you don't want to download it. Um, not to slow down your computer and to be able to get the results quickly to run different simulations for the games or for the full seasons, you want to be able to access that information through a database, which is on the cloud, Amazon Cloud. And basically, in other words, uh, we could get the Henry, we could get what I tried to do is somewhat successfully. <laughs> Uh, try to get Henry um, running on the software, uh, running on the Amazon cloud, and still be able to access it from the computer, from any, from any computers for that matter. And we did that through the API calls. Uh, API calls is the application, uh, 
program interface, which is a basically a uh, set of different commands that a computer between you know the user, us, and the computer and the database and all the technological stuff that would give it the commands to get the information they want. And actually, for the first time in I want to say in three weeks since I started the project, I was I had a successful story yesterday. <laughs> I was excited about that. I was able to actually pull the information from the database, and this is what it looks like. Is uh, I guess an example. A user can retrieve a list of teams for 2015, like line up in the roster, and this is what it looks like. I know it's not very, it's not very exciting. However, but this is how the computer reads things. Like it has to have that name and a code. It has to be very specific. It has to have a, a, its own unique ID because as everybody knows the players could get traded. Like you know one day the player is playing for the Mets, tomorrow he could be traded, he could be playing for the Cubs. Say So every player has to have a specific ID that is just unique to them and that's how the computer sees that. That's how they pull the information. Alright, and for the development is to finish the website. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it was a lot of work just to get certain things uh, running. And I'm going to make a little example, a little demo. Hopefully it works. So yeah, this is the website. Again, very early stages. Very early stages. Um, menu. Uh, yeah, so, so Henry's able to run you know, either single game simulation or the entire season simulation. It just it does it in C++ and then Excel interface. So that, that part is easy. The hardest part was to get it working, to get on the website, to get on the server. So let's see. Run single game. So you could choose a home team. Say, I uh, want to choose um, okay, Atlanta Braves. Again, you could choose as many. It goes back to 2000. But let's say 2015. And opposing team, say, the Cubs. Pick a team. You run it. So it comes up with the, the core lineup, like in the home team, it gives you all the information. It has um, the statistics of the player, and there is um, a whole roster of the starting players. You could, of course, you could change that, or you could go to the, say, baseball reference. You know, if you're not too familiar with players and the positions and, um, you know, whether they're, like, lefty or righty, so you could change that. Again, that's work in progress. <laughs> and, yeah, so once you choose your lineups, you could uh, run the simulation which I wish I could <laughs> show you how it works. However, uh, it will be working shortly, very, very soon. Um, but yeah, it will definitely give you like all the lineups. It'll give you the, the, um, the, the statistics and uh, the game average and everything else. All right, um, any questions? Okay, good, thank you. <laughs>